Hi, this is Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to review the Flume water monitor from Flume Water. This is actually the Flume 2. They actually have something called the Flume 1. As a matter of fact, if you haven't seen it, we did do a review back in March uh, about the Flume 1. We actually attached it to our irrigation water monitor. It tells us exactly how much water is being used. And as a matter of fact, we did another review recently around the Beehive uh, irrigation controller, and that actually talks to the Flume and can actually find out how many gallons exactly each zone is using whenever they water. This Flume 2 is the next generation model. They sent it to us to go off and give a review and we, now we can compare it to their previous model. When they sent us the second unit, we said, oh, this is nice. We can hook it up to our house water meter and we can see what's happening in our house when the water is being used in the house. And we think that's really important, especially if you're trying to determine if you have any leaks in the system. Since it's monitoring the water usage at your water meter, you're going to know exactly when water is being used. So let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, here we go. That's it, not much. All right, so here's the flume. I'm going to put this to the side. This is the flume water monitor. And as you can see, all it has is those straps to strap it onto your water meter. Very simple, no tools required. And uh, this meter, uh, this monitor is very nice because this one here, if you want to change the batteries, you just pop open the unit, as you can see inside here, and there's just a battery pack and just replace the batteries in the battery pack. As a matter of fact, if you want, you can order from Flume a second battery pack, which will let this monitor last longer. Now they claim this monitor will last about two years on the batteries that's in it. And if, of course, you put a second battery pack in, they claim it'll double that to four years. And uh, as you can see, there's a nice weather seal on here. So you just put it together, snap it closed, and now it's waterproof and you can install it. So that's it. That's the, that's the monitor. And then they have what's called the base station or the bridge. And uh, it's basically this bridges this device onto your Wi-Fi so that you can access the app on your phone. Uh, the nice thing about this bridge is the fact that this doesn't use Wi-Fi so it has actually has a longer range so you can have this kind of far away out, out in your lawn and have this somewhere in your house and the thing should work together and then connect up to your Wi-Fi. So you need these two that's what it takes to install. Now let's see what else is in the box. All right. Power supply for the bridge and Check this out. And what this is, these are rubber gloves. Now, why do you need the rubber gloves? The thing is, if your water meter is out by the road or in your lawn in, in a pit, there might be bugs and spiders and all sorts of things inside that pit, nastiness. Uh, and they give you the gloves so you can cover your hands when you put the monitor in. So that's a nice little addition to the box. If you have a especially troublesome uh, install for the for the monitor, like it needs a lot longer uh, rubber band in the back, they actually give you a second rubber band so you can make it longer. So that's handy, everything you need there. And the last thing they give you is a little tool. And this tool is used when you want to remove the cover out on the street or out on the, your lawn uh, to remove the cover where your water meter is. So this, this thing plugs in, you turn it, you lift up the cover and now the cover's out of the way. So that's a nice little addition. Otherwise you have to use like a big screwdriver to do it. This makes life easier. So that's everything that's in the box. The nice thing about the flume is you do all your installation of the monitor and the bridge in your phone in the house. Then you mount the monitor outside or wherever your water meter happens to be. Well you may want to verify that your water meter is compatible before you buy. On your web browser, not the flume app, Go to flumewater.com and select the chat icon in the lower right. Scroll up and you'll see a check meter compatibility dialog. You can either enter the brand, size, and model number to check, or you can upload a photo of your meter. And chat will let you know if your meter is compatible. Let's set up the app and install the Flume 2 monitor. First, download the app from the App Store. You will need to set up an account. We already have the Flume 1, so the app will bring up the dashboard for our irrigation meter. We then select settings and add Flume device. 
The app offers how to get chat support. Flume support via chat is very good and responsive. Chat is available from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. Once the check is made, you enter the details about your location. Aside from naming the flume, you need to tell it the type of home you have. If you have an irrigation system and how often you run it, the number of people living in your home, and how many bathrooms. They even ask if you have a pool. Oh, and if you want, you can add the company name of your home insurance, just in case they provide rebates. Now you just select the flume you bought. The app will have you scan the QR codes on the bridge and then the monitor. Now you connect the bridge to power. Make sure the blue light is blinking. You then go to your Wi-Fi settings and select Flume Bridge Setup. Once it connects, it will look for your network ID. Select it and enter your passcode. The monitor connects. Now the app will ask you to upload a photo of your meter. If you didn't take one earlier, you'll need to take one now. Then attach the flume monitor to the water meter. And as you can see here from this video, it wasn't very hard, right? Pulled open the cover, took the strap, had to disconnect it, put the, the monitor next to the meter, wrap the strap around, you know, kind of, kind of clumsy to get in there, but you finally get around there, reconnect up the rubber strap, position the thing correctly in the box, and you're done, that's it. Close the box back up. Next, you turn on a faucet to run water. You select continue and start calibration. This may take up to two minutes. Once it completes, that's it. You've installed the flume. You ever wonder how many gallons of water your shower takes? Well, now you can with the flume too. So I'm showing you the dashboard here. And what you see is we've already used 41 gallons of water today. There's currently no water running in the house, no gallons per minute. And there's a chart here by the minute showing you how much water is used. So let's try it out and see what happens when we turn on the faucet for the shower. Now I'm gonna run this for about a minute and we'll see how many gallons it uses in one minute. Now, you can pull down as you go along and get an update from the app, but it does take the flume a certain amount of time before the information that's gathered at the meter comes into the bridge and therefore into the app. All right, all right, one minute's over. And we'll pull down one more time and you'll see it says 0.9 gallons per minute because remember there's a little delay in the reporting. But you can take a look at the bottom here. It shows you how many gallons total got used. So we started this at 446 when we turned the shower on and it's, it took us to 447. And so we have what, 0.93 and 0.56 gallons got used over the last minute. So what does that come out to be? Uh, one, uh, 149, right? One, about a gallon and a half of water got used in one minute on our shower. So when you take that 10 minute shower, 15, 16 gallons of water is what you're gonna use. Now that's for our shower, yours is gonna be different. Now the other thing you kinda of wonder about is, how many gallons do I use when I flush that toilet? So I'm gonna go flush the toilet and let's take a look and see how many gallons it uses. All right, as you can hear, just flushed the toilet. And now it's got a refill. So even that by the here, but it's doing the refill. Okay, so the total came out to be 0.93 and 0.56. So that's it. About a gallon and a half of water got used. Okay, so you saw there's a couple of ways you can go off and use the flume to kind of tell you how much water you're using throughout the house. And let me just show you a few more things about the, uh, about the application. So we looked at the main screen, the, what's it called, the dashboard, it's just for today. And uh, we can also bring up what's called the detailed screen. So the detailed screen's nice because it'll tell you what you've used throughout the, the week, for example, or the day or the hour. But so, for example, we've been using this for about a week now. And you can see how much water we've used every day throughout in the house. And I can drill down if I want. I can press on it. It'll bring up the day use, and then I can press again. It'll bring up the usage by the minute. And so it's kind of nice. They give you all sorts of information. The other thing they do, uh, if you look at the dashboard, is they also come up with a weekly budget of how much water you use, or should be using, I should say. And they're saying that we're at 840 gallons is what they expect us to use for the week. 
And we're at 43% of that, and we're most of the way through the week. So we're staying within our water budget, so that's kind of nice. The other thing you can do, though, which is really important, I think, for the flume, and the reason we want this attached to our water meter, is we want to determine if there's any leaks. So one of the things you can do is you can go into what's called settings, and you can set up what's called usage alerts. Now, when you set up the unit, it starts with two usage alerts that it automatically sets up for you, but you can modify them. One is called the Flume Smart Leak Alert. And what this says is it are optimal for low flow leaks. And it says notify me when the water is running constantly for two hours and notify me every day as long as this condition exists. So this is really nice if you're not around and you've got the water running and it'll tell you in two hours, hey, you know what, you left the water running and you'll get an alert for that and then you can take some action, probably go home and get it fixed, of course. Um, so that's one leak alert you can have. The other one is what's called a high flow rate alert. And this is where something's broken and the water's kind of gushing out. So you can name it the flow rate above five gallons per minute. So that's a pretty high flow rate. Um, for like 15 minutes, notify me every two hours so I get that thing fixed. So these are kind of the common ones you would do to give yourself alerts if something's wrong with the water system in your house. Now, I created one called Not Home Water Running. So one of the things we wanted to be able to do was if we go out or we go away for the week, I want to be able to know if any water's running in the house. So what we did was we set up one an alert, we called it Not Home Water Running, and it says if any flow happens, whatever gallons per minute, even a little bit, for four minutes or more, you tell me about it. Now, when I do this, the thing is, when I do this alert, you can enable or disable it. So, I've just enabled it. Now, the reason why you have to enable or disable it is if you're home, obviously you're gonna be running the water for more than four minutes at a time, so you don't wanna get the alert. But here, I want the alert because we're leaving the house. So that's kind of the third thing, but you can set up different alerts based on different parameters that you set. The other thing is you can say when you want the notifications. So you can have email notifications or text notifications. And that's nice because it'll come to your phone. And I don't know about you, but I get a lot of notifications on my phone that I ignore. But getting them on email is kind of handy. So it turned out while we're doing this review, we actually got an alert on our irrigation system. We have a flume on the irrigation water monitor or water meter. And we got an alert. And let me show you. We got a usage alert, and the usage alert said, runaway valve triggered at front yard irrigation meter. Water has been running for 23 minutes, for 23 minutes, averaging 2.4 gallons every minute. Well, I got that while we're doing this, and I'm like, well, that's weird. Irrigation shut off for the season. Well, went outside, I took a look, and sure enough, one of the valves had opened up and hadn't closed, and water was leaking out on the lawn, right? It was just constantly coming out. So I was able to shut off the valve, and then I looked in the app, I looked at the dashboard again, and the number of gallons per minute went to zero, and I knew I'd solved the problem. Now, I'm still gonna have to go out this spring and fix that valve, but the point is, the flume water monitor protected me by letting me know we had a problem with the irrigation system. What we like about the flume, too, is that it has a longer range between the flume monitor that's in our front yard and the flume bridge that's in the house. We actually have the bridge here in the back of the house and out in our driveway is where the monitor is and it's having no problem communicating. Where the Flume 1 had a little more limited range. So that's kind of a nice improvement. The other thing that's nice about the new one is it has those two battery packs or at least you can buy the second battery pack and it will last for four years. So they've definitely improved it. But the one feature that we're excited about is that this spring or summer they're going to have an artificial intelligence in the Flume 2 where it will tell you when, for example, your shower's running. It'll say, hey, your shower's running, here's how many gallons are being used, and you're not gonna have to go and do anything special. The artificial intelligence will figure out how much water is being used at which device. We think that's gonna be a game changer, uh, and we're really looking forward to seeing that be part of the Flume 2. Well, thank you for watching our video today. We'll put links on where to buy in the description below, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you can be notified the next time we do a video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.